Hey Jason, it's February 5th, it's daytime as you can assume, I have a day off today so I've been just lazing around as one does on a day off, I've just seen your video like maybe 10 minutes ago and maybe it was necessary for us to go off topic if the topic was loneliness to begin with and to come into something that is more real in the situation at least for you right now. And I do feel that, I mean, listening to the fact that your husband, your, sorry, your cousin lost her husband, reminds me of myself, 2017, April, Yimiko and I lost our daughter. And the thing with death, when you experience death in your life, in, you know, when you lose someone in your life, at least for me personally, it felt like for a while, the whole world had changed like the whole world needed to focus on this issue, my issue, the fact that Yumiko and I had lost our daughter. It's not even the same for me, for me and your cousin because I didn't really get to know my daughter. You know, she was, we lost her one week before the, her due date, before Yumiko's due date. And so I didn't really get to lose someone phys in a physical sense. I lost all the hopes and dreams and aspirations I had for my daughter. You know, just imagining working with her, things like that. You know, like I would like to, I would, I would have liked to walk with her. You know, to laugh with her. You know, to help get into small fights and bigger with her. You know, such things. So all those things are just vanished when we realized that Yumiko had a miscarriage. And it's obviously not the same as what your cousin is experiencing, whereby she's known this person for I don't know how long, but to be married to someone and to lose that person is like this is the thing with marriage, dog. The thing with marriage is that, you know, people always say that marriage is bad or don't get married. And I, and to some sense, I understand why they will say that. But I think the reason why people say that is because marriage strips romance out of love. And when you're married for five years, ten years, what you're left with isn't the person you fell in love with. You're left with nothing but a bare human being. You've seen them shitting, you've seen them sick, you've seen them happy, you've seen them at the very best and at the very worst. And you realize everything in them is everything in me. So when I'm looking at my spouse, I'm not looking at them, I'm looking, it's like I'm looking at a mirror. All this shit is reflecting back on me. And sometimes that makes you resentful. Because if they can be this piece of shit, what does that say about me? So that's why I say, like, when you're married, it's like, your individuality just strips away and now you become this one thing this one one mass of existence and for half of that mass to die off i don't know i don't know what that can do to me i think i'm actually scared that i would want to go down the same path and just you know off myself if that would happen and another thing with death is that death not only makes you feel sad because you've lost someone that you love but death makes you all the more aware of your mortality I mean it happened to them you know if it happened to Kobe you know with all his money all his fame you know all his brilliance all his greatness it's definitely going to happen to you and me you know if it happened to my daughter if it happened to your cousin's husband you know we're not running away from this thing but can we really accept it can you really accept that this thing one day, this mass of consciousness will no longer will just be gone one day, you know? Have you ever looked at a dead body? <laughs> it's like you're looking at a fucking doll. It's like you're looking at a fucking doll. There's nothing there. And when you look at a dead body, you realize that this body is actually nothing itself. It's actually nothing. I don't know what's holding this thing together. Is it just my heart? Is it my mind? Is it this mass thing we call God that's holding this together? Because when you die, that thing, that God, is gone. And you're just left with a doll. The fucking, just a piece of meat, a slab of meat. And death is scary, but it's also not scary. You know? Death is the final rest, you know? I, I don't know. Death is a funny thing. And I, I feel really, I don't feel sad for you, of course. I don't feel sad for what has happened to you. I won't even lie to say that I feel bad for you. Because I, I didn't know your cousin. 
and even from the way you talked in the video, I don't think you seem really sad yourself. So I'm not going to be your sale. I'm sorry for your loss. Because I feel when people tell you that, I guess try, everyone is trying to be nice to everyone else, you know. But when someone tells you I'm sorry for your loss, it feels like you're, you're lying to me. You don't know what I'm going through. And of course, maybe some people know what, what I am going through, but most, I feel like most of the people who say that are just saying that because it's the right thing to say. But just like death, the right thing to say after death is nothing. Just remain silent and let that person deal with the issue. I mean, just your presence alone might be good enough. Don't speak. And even though, though you've been through that, I feel like people process this issue in different ways. So maybe the way I process, process the death of my daughter is in the same way your cousin will process the death of her husband. So I shouldn't say anything to your sister. Oh, maybe in a few months you'll be fine, you know. You'll get over it, you'll move on, you know. You know, keep your chin up. Pfft, don't keep your chin up. I mean, just let them do what they're going to do. They need that time to mourn and to feel miserable and feel like shit. And then, mm, hopefully they move on. I mean, you say death is a wake-up call. <laughs> your, husband, your cousin's husband's death is a wake-up call to you, but... Why is it though? Why is it? I wonder, that's my next question. Why is it a wake up call to you? I'll see you next time, Jason. Bye bye.